that these drive wheels are uh, six and a half feet tall. There's the GS6, the only GS6 left in existence. Let's see if we can get closer. Here we go. Forty oh six. We'll go back to him in a little bit. We have a rotary snowplow here. This thing. Yeah, look at that thing. It's huge. It's got fifteen feet tall. Here for the Alco Schenectady 1941. And also, we have this guy over here. Is it a, it's a DD, DD 40 maybe? Let's see here. Does it say? Oh, um, it say what it is. Oh, oh I know it is. Boot configuration DD. Forty-five. Nice. It's not a T model. Very cool. This is a Mohawk. New York Central L L two D is what it's called. A ten wheeler. It's a two ten four.
to the right. Kind of electric something back there. This rail car, I think. This is a Y6. It's North Oak and Western. That's a big frog. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff over here. The new little switch here. Just uh, push this little pedal down to open it up. And then you want to lift this. Flip it over. Give us a switch. Let's see the Y6 again. All these tracks that lead out to the main line. Here is the current main line. Maybe if I'm gonna get lucky to have a train come by. And we can see where it all comes in here. Got some more words there. Let's head over there. A nice shot of this Y6. You see on the back of this Y6, it has a light on the rear offset and a ladder at the center. How different. <laughs> We've got some more rail cars. But they're electric. And we're here. We really messed up the boost here. It's Missouri Pacific. That's a comedian. Canadian National Railways. This is European? Oh no, no. Illinois Terminal. That's not look good. There's some better days. There's a tree going through it. <laughs> oh, this is really close. Let's see. Do we need an electric system? Go back to the Illinois terminal system. Uh, Class C electric interurban freight locomotive at Decatur, Illinois. What does that look like right there? It says Amtrak, but I think it's a GT1. Let's get closer. It's so tight, I'm not going to be able to get a wide shot. I know Amtrak did buy these GG1s. Pennsylvania Railroad. 
GG1. Wow. The air track on it. Wow. GG1. It's packed away back here. Oh, it's not pretty looking. Steel really clean up. Okay, well, that's not really a justification, but that is the GG1. Well, here's the tunnel they were talking about. So this used to be the main line here, right here. This was the main line originally. That's real. And it went through this tunnel right here. But I guess the tunnel was too much of a high. I don't know. Just one, one could go through. Only one could go through. And so it was a bottleneck. That's the way to think of it. Bottleneck. And look, there used to be a switch here. At least possibly with this other track. Oh yeah, look, you can see where the ties. Oh yeah, the frog is there. So yeah, there used to be a switch. That went right here. Oh, that was taken out. And they built around it. And it looks like something is stuck in there right now. Looks like a flat car with an engine on top of it. Mm -hmm. Let's have a ginger away from the other side. Still in a great trunk. Well, now let's see what it is. Right, that's for sure. Say Penn Central. Hmm. At least I think Penn Central. Cool. There's a big dead in Milwaukee Road. Very cool. Very big. I'm used to. This the green of the Wombat. Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, Missouri. It's a bit of a different way out there with the windows. Sangles.
strength. We have this uh, storage device here. Beds down there. Cool. Uh, well, what is this? Is this a coin? Switcher engine. Steam over here. Yeah, this is a 210. Oh, interesting. No headlight. So, if I will do it for you, 1910. Ten dollars for this. No trailing truck. Interesting. Two ten oh. We can go inside here. Oh, there we go. A reverse it right here. Big, big, big. Yeah. Yeah. Excess. 
has property. A guy named Dr. Robert from across the street. Keep on. He was a doctor woman. He made 25 of them. And its sole purpose was to haul coal out of Nevada and bring it down to Ogden, Utah, in huge quantities. Big boy, Union Pacific to do this. We have one of the remaining.